Number one. <laughs> the star of the show. Luna. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Terrier Owner's YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. We got Luna here today, too. Doing a little dance for you. And today, we want to make a video for you that is all about how much it is going to cost you to adopt one of these. How much does it cost, Luna? Hold up the fingers for how many hundreds of dollars. We got five, six, other hand, seven, maybe eight, no? Okay. All right, guys, like I was saying here just a second ago, today's video is gonna be all about how much it is going to cost you out of pocket, depending on where you live, of course, and the situation as a big picture to adopt a Jack Russell Terrier. So stick around for just a second and we'll be right back with that for you. All right guys, for all of you that are new to the Terrier on a YouTube channel, just to emphasize real quick what this channel is all about. It is all about new Terrier owners getting the information they need to provide the care to these Jack Russells or other Terrier dog breeds and just learn the ins and outs on how to take care of these guys, especially for beginners. So as a channel that is all about how to raise, take care of, and train one of these Jack Russell Terriers, if you happen to fit that or if that content would help you, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursdays when these videos come out. And now let's go ahead and start diving into some of these primary costs that you are going to encounter when you go to adopt, man, she is squirrely today, when you go to adopt one of these guys right here. So up first on the list, guys, is obviously going to be the cost of the adoption itself. And this is going to be influenced dramatically based on your location, the availability of the Jack Russells during any given time of the year, and just the overall pedigree of the dog. So if you know if you're looking at champion bloodlines or you know anything hunting specific, they might be more expensive. It could also be more expensive based on their coat, or just there's a lot of factors that can go into it. But overall, I paid about 850 for her, and she is a full bred Jack Russell with documentation. And I know that they can get more expensive than that. So don't be shocked if you're looking at more than a thousand dollars for the dog itself if it is a full bred Jack Russell Terrier but it is also possible to get them for cheaper than that so don't stress out really don't do anything until you do your research on local breeders in your area and I actually have a link that I'll put in the description below for a blog post on terrierowner.com of all of the local breeders in the US. I built kind of an easy chart of everybody who breeds Jack Russell Terriers based on your state. So I will link that down below. Hopefully that makes it a little easier for you guys to find you know, a breeder close to you. But that overall cost just for the dog itself, kind of planned anywhere in that six to $1,200 range. It, again, if you're going for a full bred Jack Russell. And while we're still on the topic of the actual adoption, there's a couple things that depending on the breeder, you need to keep in mind. So you have microchipping, which is something that my breeder took care of for me. It's basically just putting the microchip in your Jack Russell that allows them to track it if your Jack Russell happens to get lost and contains all your personal information so that they can find their way back to you as soon as you know the doggy jail police happens to locate them and scan that chip. If that's not completed and the breeder offers it or you need to go do it on your own at like a vet, you're probably looking at 75 to 150 for that to be completed, but that was built into the cost of my adoption when I got her. I'm in Illinois, so again, I don't know if it'll be the exact same for you, but Think about that. It's not necessary if you don't want to microchip them and it's not the law or in Illinois it's not the law. I don't want to say 100% that it's not the law where you're at but you don't have to microchip so don't you know think that you have to spend that money if you don't want to. And then you obviously have the initial vet visit so that's going to be your first round of shots 
again, most breeders are going to take care of this before they're even ready to list them for adoption. You had your shots, right? Luna. But that's going to be another cost for you if it's not included or wasn't taken care of by the breeder. So it's hard to say because every vet office is going to be different when it comes to that. But I would plan another hundred, couple hundred bucks for that initial vet visit just in case. So you're somewhere in the range of about a thousand to fifteen hundred, and now you have at least the Jack Russell ready to bring home at that point. But that's where a lot of people don't plan ahead when it comes to the cost of these guys because there are definitely some things that you need to get these little guys ideally before you get home or shortly after you've adopted them. What's wrong with you today, huh? You're shy? You don't want to look at the camera? Oh no, you're fine. Which leads me into the number one thing I would get. Number one, you still need this because you can be the devil sometimes, is a crate. This is going to be huge for crate training, which is going to help with potty training. You need somewhere to put them that is safe when you're not home. You need somewhere to put them if you just need a break from having them out and about. So make sure that that is factored into your initial budget. A crate's going to run you anywhere from like 30 to 70 bucks on Amazon. And I will also link in the description below my recommendation for the best crates for these guys. I think mine was like 40 bucks. It wasn't anything crazy. Still using the same crate I've been using for a couple years. Nothing overly dramatic in that category, but still something I would plan ahead and make sure that you have at home ready to go. It's going to make the potty training so much easier. It's going to control how often they can destruct things in the house when you're not home or when you leave them alone. It's just a good idea, isn't it, Luna? Say yes. And then, of course, you have what she has clearly chewed to pieces already. These dogs chew, so plan on buying some of that chew to turn too. But you need the initial leash, collar, harness. I mean, even, I even had a muzzle. These are good once they're a little bit bigger. Um, for several reasons, I'll link it to the description below for a video about the muzzles for these guys that can come in handy. But that's another, you know, 30 to 50 bucks I would have ready to go just to get them a collar with a name tag on it, the leash for walking, and a harness to make it so they can't pull when you're walking them, which is going to make it way better for training them not to pull. It's just going to be a better experience if you use one of the body harnesses on them. So another cost to factor in, another probably 50 bucks to put, you know, towards that initial adoption and the initial items that you need for one of these guys. And then due to how much she chews, or these guys chew in general, will you just look at the camera for two seconds? You also want to make sure you have a decent little collection of chew toys ready to go for these guys. They are chewers, she's still kind of a chewer, um, depending on the items, but you're going to want those initial items. Um, good chew toys, rope toys that they can't ingest, rubber toys tend to do the best if they're not destructible, but you will want you know a little bit of a basket full of those. So probably another $20, $30 just on making sure that they have items to chew, which is extremely important in the beginning for from a training standpoint because you don't just want to be yelling at them every time they chew up a shoe. You also want to be replacing these negative behaviors with the desired behavior. So getting the toys, having them ready for them is a good idea in general just to make sure that you're giving them the right state of mind on what is okay and not okay to chew. Plus, it's just good mental stimulation for them, and these guys need some toys. So plan on having some of those ready. Bake that into your cost so that you're more prepared for that adoption day. Then on top of that, guys, you're going to need some, you know, just basic training treats. Um, these come in handy, obviously, because they're tiny, and they make the ability to give them multiple treats. Clearly, that's what she's been waiting for this whole time, to give them multiple treats. Um, without their bellies getting upset when you're training them. So that can be for potty training, teaching them to sit, teaching them to lay down. She, she wants some more of those. You know? Good girl. Now will you say hi to the camera? No, I didn't think you would. Say hi. But you're going to want to have some treats on hand, some dog bones on hand. You know, some of those kind of basic things that you need for giving out rewards to these guys, especially when they're young and you're trying to mold them and teach them the desired behaviors. 
So plan on that being a cost and that kind of leads me right into the fact that you're also going to need the dog food, obviously, and the dog bowl and the water bowl. That kind of covers all of the essentials unless you want to throw like a dog bed in there. But really when you bake all of these costs together on adopting one of these guys plus the initial adoption cost you're looking at, you know, if I had to give a rough estimate, probably about a thousand to fifteen hundred, depending on what items you buy, you know, how economical you decide to be, and how many of each item. You know, if you're just gonna get a couple toys, cool, not a big deal. You know, if you're gonna get the best crate compared to like the crate that I'm using, that's gonna make a difference as well. So you kinda have to just budget it for yourself and obviously check with the breeders like I said when we started the video about what their cost is for the actual dog and these are cost again to make sure you guys understand for a full bred Jack Russell Terrier about the 1000 to 1500 would be my initial guess or very close estimate on what you're gonna spend adopting one of these guys so that is what you need to budget that is what you need to be prepared for in the beginning obviously if you're getting a mix or you know anything like that where the dog's a little cheaper or you have a cheaper breeder you could come in way under that cost and i know it's possible to come in over but i think it's safe to say that that one thousand to fifteen hundred dollar range is very close to what you'll spend for a full bred jack russell plus all the initial accessories and care items that you will need to take care of one of these guys all right guys i had to set luna down for a second just to give myself a chance to focus and wrap this video up for you guys. To recap, we touched on a bunch of items you would need like that. The muzzle, leash, harness, dog crates, dog beds, food, etc. Links will be down in the description below. And something I noticed while making this video that might make a few of you curious is that cage behind me, that is for a chinchilla. In case you were wondering, I actually saw her dart into the frame um, in the very beginning of the video, so I didn't know if somebody would be like, what was that back there? That is what that is. So, yes, there's another animal in the household. Luna and her are best friends, not really. But that's it, guys. Anything that you, I think you need to know as far as items or blog posts will be in the description below, and we'll start wrapping this up. All right, guys, as always, me and Luna appreciate you coming to the channel. Luna, say goodbye to everybody. Say thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate all the subscribers early on on this channel. If you do happen to be a new Terrier owner or Jack Russell owner and this kind of content has been helpful for you, be sure to subscribe down below. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Hit that notification bell so you're notified in the future for the future videos. And we will catch you on Thursday in the next video. Stay safe and take care.